Hey Libra, welcome back to my channel, Emerald Element. We are going to be doing your general read for the second half of September. We're going to be doing the 16th through the 30th or the 31st. I forget what day this month ends. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what's in store. We're going to be using the Book of Shadows Tarot. And this is the So Below deck. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mars, So the first card we have out is the death card in the reverse. So with the death card in the reverse, we can be talking about things here that need to end but are not ending. This could be you coming back to people from the past, um, you still putting up with jobs and people telling you what to do, Whatever it is that you know you need to get out of, that you know is not fair for you, that needs to end. If you guys have separated yourself from um, places, jobs, and people, um, and your thoughts and your energies are still attached to them, there still needs to be a release of that here, okay? And that's what I'm getting with the death card in the reverse. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio who is not letting things end with you. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Or if you guys have this in your chart here. Let's see. And what's funny too is I was going to do the love reading for you guys first. And the first card that came out was the death card in the reverse as well. But, uh, yeah, this could be pertaining to love as well. Wow. We have the chariot. So we have, um, very watery energies coming out for you so far. Scorpio and Cancer. Um, but water energy is very powerful. It's very transformative. It's very, uh, intense. So some of you guys could be um, going through a shift right now where you're getting more in touch with your spiritual side the end of the month. You could be learning more about yourself. Or this could just be um, changes that are happening here in your life and um, it's really touching on you emotionally towards the end of the month. But with the chariot here, this is badass because this lets me know that you guys are still pushing through. No matter what is trying to keep you stagnant or keep you blocked with the death card in the reverse, with the chariot, this is, with the chariot, it only moves when its intuition is yanking them, um, so, okay? Um, so you guys are still having the faith, um, to move forward, which is good. So you guys are being led by your intuition, by willpower, you guys have goals in mind, you guys have plans. Some of you guys could be uh, traveling as well, like a road trip or something for work maybe, or literally just moving places here. We have the King of Swords 
in the reverse. This could be somebody that you're dealing with. Or this could be um, your element here as well, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Let's go ahead and grab a clarifier for the King of Swords in the reverse. Why is the King of Swords in the reverse? Okay, we have the Five of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, um, some of you guys could be going through internal struggles the 16th through the end of the month. Some of you guys could be feeling like you are not up to date on things. Some of you guys could have, um... L uh, lack of clarity or not enough information in order to move forward with something. Some of you guys uh, could be getting into an argument with the King of Swords or with a fire sign. And some of you guys could, uh, could be um, lashing back out with this fire sign here. We also have the Three of Swords, so there's going to be some communication. There's going to be some sort of of heartbreak here, okay? With the Three of Swords coming out in a reading, you know, Three of Swords is never a good card to get. But with the King of Swords in the reverse, some of you guys could not be wanting to uh, be in a position to make a decision due to some messages or some reoccurring thoughts or whatever, what have you, from the past coming back up here the 16th through the end of the month. So be careful of your thoughts. Be careful of your emotions. We have the Magician, beautiful energy. And we have the Ten of Cups. Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is coming out right below um, the King of Swords in the reverse. So some of you guys could be having um, somebody come back from the past or somebody here is trying to offer you something, whether this be in business, someone trying to bring you an idea. But with the King of Swords in the reverse, you don't want to make this decision here. And I can tell um, it's going to be very hard for you. It's going to be very hard for you to detach from this decision from this person here. And with the Five of Wands in the reverse, you could um, be avoiding a person here because you don't want to cause any arguments but you are going to have uh, arguments within yourself here okay but with the magician let's let's clarify that So to clarify the Magician, we have the Knight of Swords with the Strength card in the reverse. So with the Magician here, you guys want to create something new. 
um, you guys are trying to manifest something, and you guys are working on something new. With the Knight of Swords, um, some of you guys need to stop uh, throwing away your ideas, um, your thoughts, and really just let them roll. Like, uh, you know, work with them. With the Knight of Swords, we see here her, like, writing. She's writing stuff. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. But she also has, like, um, bits of paper that she's crumbled up all over. And she's, like, rewriting it, rewriting it, rewriting it. So don't go too crazy on that. It is good to revise and edit and all that good stuff. But, um, try not to act too hastily. And with the strength card in the reverse, uh, it could feel like with this new thing you're trying to start up, you could have already set out your intentions, but you guys could not be seeing the results yet. But with the strength card in the reverse, this is telling me that you guys um, could be feeling like things are not in your control. And with the Knight of Swords, you guys could be wanting things to happen really fast for you. You guys could be planning really fast. Um, but the outcome might not be happening as fast as you want it to. So um, be gentle here. Things do take time, and if you guys are um, getting stuck in this energy or feeling like this with whatever new you are trying to create, um, have patience. Okay, why is the Ten of Cups in the reverse? Alright, those wanted to fall out. So with the Ten of Cups in the reverse, we have the Seven of Wands and the Page of Cups. So someone here is definitely defending themselves from a love offer here. With the Page of Cups, this could be somebody younger than you, or um, this is just the energy of someone who is um, not all that mature. They could be immature here. But you see this person for, uh, you have your own, um, opinion about this person, whoever this page of cups is, whatever this offer is, you have your own opinion about them, or about the offer, and, um, You could be wanting something more, okay? If this is somebody coming back from the past, stand in your truth here, which I do see you doing with the Seven of Wands. Um, and yeah, boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. Let's see, what other messages do we have? For Libra, what's coming towards them this 16th through the end of the month? What is coming towards them? Okay. Okay. So what's coming towards you? We have the Ace of Wands with the Hierophant. So right off the bat, you guys could have a brand new beginning or an offer coming in from a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This could be vice versa. You could be doing the offering here. Maybe a Fire Sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo is wanting to spark up something new with you here. Um, this could be a new job as well, um, going back to school here, what's coming towards you. So 
some of you guys could be um, starting up your own business. Some of you guys could be getting ideas. There are new opportunities coming towards you, Libra, here. We also have the Five of Cups in the reverse, so this is good. This is letting me know that um, if you guys do decide to take up these new opportunities here, this will definitely help you get your mind off um, a lot, okay? Whatever is causing you problems, whatever is getting you in your feels, that will um, come to an end here with the Five of Cups in the reverse. We do have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. So I want to go ahead and clarify that. Why is the Seven of Pentacles? We have the Eight of Cups. Okay, so things that were not coming out the way that you wanted it to Libra, you guys have put in the work, um, paid attention to those details, and really just focused on on creating your own outcome here. We go from the Seven of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles. So you guys are going to be reaping rewards that are going to be what you want. Um, for some of you in the past, you guys could have um, gained some type of reward, but it wasn't what you wanted, and you guys could have taken that and really fixed it up in your own way, um, revise it, re-edit it, and, um, you know, it's going to come out the way that you have worked with it. And obviously more work as well as coming towards you. For some of you, like I said, getting a new job here, there's going to be a lot of work that is going to be put in. With the Seven of Pentacles, this could have been job offers here that called you and said, you know, oh, we're not hiring, or we looked at your resume, um, we are not going to hire you. This is good news coming in with the Ace of Wands and the Hierophant here. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck we have the Nine of Wands. So you guys have been through it. You guys are on edge, but you guys are still pushing through here. Which is good because what is coming towards you are those new opportunities you have worked very hard for. So let's go ahead and pull a card of advice. Okay, and we have here and now in the reverse. So let's go ahead and see what it says. Whenever you find your mind drifting into the past, wondering if things could have or should have been better, or whenever you find yourself longing for the good old days, you leak power. The same is true of looking too far ahead and hoping the future will provide you with certainty. Driven by ambition, you might wander too long in a place with no substance, 
and forget that you are here today. The past and future are illusions. Whenever you leave the present moment, you're disconnecting from your inherent power to manifest your reality with true substance. Neither past nor future can give you what you need. Now is all that counts. Come back from those eternities and be here now. All will be well and miracles will appear as if by magic in the perfect timing of spirit. Okay, so I think that tied in pretty well. Um, Libra, I am offering services, so if you are interested, information will be in the link below. Um, and I will have your love reading up next. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later.